Hey everybody, Fat Bird Finds here. This is Laura today alone going solo and it's my first day of working for myself again. Woohoo! So I am so excited. Mary Beth had a great idea. She said, Laura, you should um, do a vlog because there's lots of people out there that wish they could do what you do, what you just did, and they just want to see how it goes. So anyway, I hope you guys um, are entertained a little by this. I'm so happy. Um, today's my first day. It's Friday. Um, what a great day. There's a whole whatnot marathon going on today um, that I can just drop into anytime I want now. Don't have to worry about lunch hour or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I've got my candle burning in the background. Um, and I've got my little goodies in front of me. I'm going to show you guys, hang on just a second. I'm going to show you a couple of the cute little things that I got to, from my friends. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can show you. So hang on just a second. So here we are. I'm at my workstation, which is actually my dining room table, but works out nicely. <laughs> And it's a little messy right now, so you guys will get to see the transformation because now that I have time, it's not going to be so messy anymore. But it is today. <laughs> and so my co-workers were very sweet to me. They gave me something to sip with. <laughs> um, cards. There's a picture. We all dressed up like... Uh, we have to dress up for Halloween at my work, so we were Shit's Creek characters. <laughs> um... There's my name tag from work that I'll put probably on my bulletin board just to remind me of how lucky I am today. <laughs> and then gift cards. So I'll keep you posted. Oh, McDonald's, because I have to have my caffeine in a cup for sure. They know me very well. <laughs> so I'll keep you posted on what I decide to get with this. This is for my, um, my boss gave me this for, you know, setting up my home office and things like that. So I'll keep you posted on that. I'll take you with me to spend that. And then this is very special. My daughter ordered me a planner so that I would have it on my very first day. And look, it's personalized. Fat Bird Finds. And the people that made the planner, I think it's called Plum Paper. Let me find it. But look, they even wrote a little handwritten note um, to put in there with it for her. She was thrilled with that. Yeah, I think this is it. I think this is the company. Plum Paper. Beautiful. Yeah, so that just comes out of there. The little note does. And she got it all customized for me. You know, with notes and there's a mileage section and all the things that I might need. Isn't that cool? So I'm super excited about that, to start on that today. Okay guys, so I have cracked open my planner. I have planned out a little of the day, although I don't have to plan out everything, right? <laughs> um, I've got my caffeine in a cup. This is my mug I got from the nurse flipper that Dalton signed for me. Isn't that cute? And so, yeah, it's my very first day. Today, there's a whatnot marathon all day long, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that I want to support my fellow resellers. So I got to tune in and out of that. I'm definitely going to list five eBay items. That's one of my big goals, you guys. Uh, besides what, what we do on YouTube, um, I really want to get my eBay store rocking again. Um, so that's good. And then I'm going to finish organizing our whatnot sale because we're on tomorrow night during the marathon at 11 p.m. Saturday night, 11 p.m. We'll see how that goes. And then, of course, we've got flipping and sipping to get ready for. So it's a packed first day. All right, everybody. Here we are. It's actually day two. It's Saturday. So really, it's my day off. <laughs> I'm already taking a day off just kidding um but um this is one of my goals i found this cool contraption here to try to make videos in the car to take you guys along shopping with me and stuff so i don't know what we're gonna get into today i know i'm about to go have lunch 
um, and meet Mary Beth. So we'll see how that goes and we'll see if we can get a little shopping in. All right guys, so we made a pit stop right here in downtown Paducah. I couldn't find any yard sales this morning, which is my you know preferred sourcing, of course, if we can have it, but I couldn't find any. So I stopped here because we're having a whatnot sale tonight and I wanted to see if we could get a few more things. So here we are. I'm gonna see if I can show you what I got. Let's see here. So we're doing, We ha I have a bunch of cute little Christmas uh, pick two things lined up for tonight. So I just wanted to supplement that a little bit. So look at this. I got this cute little bag of goodies here. So there's a little soldier and a little snowman and a little deer. You guys see that? <laughs> this way? I'll get good at this one of these days. And then, oh, these are flocked. So here's a little flocked deer in this one. You see him right here? And this little teddy bear. And this little teddy bear down here. And then I got this little bag and it's a little egg crate and it's got some really old little wooden ornament pieces. Like look at her, isn't she sweet? So yeah, we're gonna mix those in tonight. So that makes me excited. So yeah, I'm on to Layman's. Okay, I told you guys I was going to Layman's today and we have a whatnot sale tonight, like I've been telling you. And look, mom found me some goodies. Mom and Uncle Sherry <laughs> found me some goodies and we're gonna sell them at the sale tonight. But you just never know what's gonna, what we're gonna come across. Look at those pretty Fenton pieces. This one's still got the tag. Isn't that pretty? And here's some a red wing vase. And then look at these. We're gonna have a tea party sale with Catherine Young. So I got this adorable teacup right here. And then look at these. Catherine, take a look at these. Look, they're gloves. Gotta be from the 60s, right? So cute stuff, I'm really excited. Thanks, Mom and Sherry. So we are at um, my very first Monday of being a full-time reseller. And look what happened. Over the weekend, we had this great whatnot sale as part of the uh, extravaganza. If you don't know about whatnot, it's a live action, <laughs> live action, live auction channel. And um, it's an app that you can get for your phone. And we have a link down below where you can join and follow us and get $10 off. It's great fun. But look at all these packages. So it's just taken me like an hour to sticker them all and load them in the car. And now we are off to the post office. Here we go. So here's our little Paducah post office. I can't tell you guys how great it is not to have to rush. This is usually my lunchtime job. Uh, is going to the post office on my lunch hour. Um, and it's always a struggle to get all the packages and get them in there and then get out and get myself something to eat. So today I think I'll be leisurely. I'm going to go to the post office here. And then this is mi our little midtown area. So right over there, right there is an awesome little midtown market where um, they have great a great deli and you know a little gourmet grocery store kind of place and then over here is a neighborhood park and I love to just sit and park in the shade although it's a little hot today and uh, have some lunch but I can be leisurely about it today so yeah I'm just digging this Monday all right, it's Thursday of my first week as a full-time reseller. I am making the most of it, y'all. I'm getting stuff done. Um, today, it's so exciting. I always have to make my hair appointments like after work and I'm tired and draggy. So it's just a little thing. But today I'm gonna go get my hair done, 9.45. I'm headed that way and I'm gonna let you see what it looks like after it's done. I'm tired of all this. I've, grown it long and long and long as y'all can see 
So, looking for just a little bit of a change. But what's on the agenda today after the hair appointment, I've got an estate sale that I get to go to. Um, then I've got errands to run at noon. And then I'm going to list some on eBay. I've got a whatnot sale tonight to prepare for. And um, 2.30, I have a business coaching appointment. And then at six, I have the whatnot sale. So another full day, I'll let you know how much I get done. Okay, you guys. So I got my hair done. <laughs> and as you, if you can see behind me, I've got my estate sale stuff there. Um, just a few smalls. There wasn't anything good to film in there, so I didn't take you with me there. Um, I got some stuff for lame, a few lamps for layman's, and then I got, I think it has a few little Christmas goodies I might show you later. Uh, so, yeah, and I've, I'm running my errands right now. Uh, let's see. And then whatnot sale tonight and my business coaching this afternoon. So I think I have run the gamut of reseller life today and this week. Okay, you guys, so I promised you um, I would show you what I got at the uh, estate sale. It was too crowded to film inside there. But this is my first estate sale as a full-time reseller. I got some littles. Wasn't too terribly much, but cute stuff. So let me just show you. So look at these little guys. Got this cute little frog brooch. This one and this one. Whoops. Here we go. Aren't they cute? I do think he has a little stone missing, unfortunately. But those are cute. And I got this little teeny tiny owl. Adorable. These pretty decorative keys. Some people collect those. So, love those. Um, he looks like a little, I think you call it Hagen Rineker. That's what he looks like. So, a little squirrel there. And this little deer. He's plastic. But vintage. Isn't he cute? And then we got this nice little tulip brooch. Tulips are my favorite, in case you didn't know that. <laughs> so the book's adorable. It's a reader. And it's in good shape, except there are there is a little bit of writing in the front. I think that's adorable. Mildred Willett. Look, look at her wonderful handwriting. She must have practiced and practiced that. Martha Cavill Clements was in the fourth grade. <laughs> and it looks like she might have had a baby brother or sister that helped her out there. <laughs> and then the copyright, as far as I can tell on this, is 1939. Published February 1939, reprinted March 1939. Copyright in the Philippine Islands. So, like I said, the first couple pages do have some writing, but the rest of it is great. Oh my gosh. Y'all look at these baby turtles. I opened right up to those. So, the elves and the shoemaker. This is almost an antique, y'all. Almost 100 years old. That little brownie. Let's see what the name of that story is. Brownie and the New Cook. Look at him. So I love this book. There's lots of lots of cute stories in here. Really cute illustrations. So that was a great find. Dick and Tom get two ponies. Let's see. Go back and see. <laughs> there they are. So those are super cute. 
Um, I got these for my package choppers, just some little game cards. But this is really a fun find. This, these were all in the bag for a dollar. And I know we've got Scotch tape collectors out there. Now I didn't know about these because the packaging is a little simpler, but it is vintage because look at that, 39 cents. Isn't that cool? So it's got the cool graphics on the back. It shows you all the different ways that you can use this. You can identify your luggage, mend your shower curtain. Nice. So yeah, there's several of those. There are those that say waterproof stretchy and they're clear. And then this one here is yellow. Uh, some of them still have, are still sealed even. So there's three of them that are still sealed and two of them that are not. So there's another yellow one. That's a good one. And it says decorative and repair on the top. So yeah, I think I looked these up and I think they bring maybe 10 or $15 a piece. So that's awesome. And then these little, these cool uh, Maker's Mark playing cards. They've got really cool graphics on the inside. Let's see if I can show them to you. I counted them, it is a full set. But see, like, there's the Joker with his maker's mark there. Another Joker with his colored maker's mark. So, yeah, and then there's just various ones. Like, oh, look at her. Mother of maker's mark. <laughs> you can see. So, there's just, like, cool designs. So, those are very cool as well. And then now let me show you a couple of the Christmassy things. Okay, and so for the other part of the estate sale haul, um, I bought this great big tote of Christmas stuff. Um, they emptied it out in these cardboard boxes, but it was one of those great big oversized totes. It was $4, and all of this is going to the Goodwill. But look, I did find some treasures because I saw some of them peeking out of the top. So let me show you those. Okay, right here we go. Look at this goodness, this vintage goodness. Well, and first of all, there is a sweater. So look at this, like, you remember those from the Cosby show from the eighties, these sweaters? Looked this one up online. They are selling anywhere from 50 to $80. So that was a score, it was a dollar. And then look at this, look at these kitschy Christmassy things. I dug to the bottom and there were some cute stuff. So. There's a pair of these matching candle rings. So those are adorable. You can smell that plastic vintagey <laughs> smell coming from them. So they are definitely mid-century. And look at this. Look at this, y'all. You hang that up and it's your mistletoe. Look at that fancy little plasticky, kitschy bell with the little mistletoe ball. Isn't that cute? So there's that. And then look at these guys. There was probably more to this at some time, but we've rescued this much. These three little ornaments. Aren't they cute? They've got the little cutout openings and then the little pieces of holly all stuck to them. Love those. And then just a whole bunch of like little picks. Like here, these are little flocked poinsettias. Can you see that they're flocked? Aren't those cute? And these guys. And this one. This little flocked bird is in that piece of just this and that, and that little piece. And then look at this guy. So he was at Ben Franklin's for 69 cents. 
the, this little piece is just a little bit in rough shape, but it's one of those really pretty honeycomb pieces. So yeah, look, gotta love that one. So I think all that was worth the $4 and then we're gonna donate the rest, so. Awesome, right? Okay, so that's the estate sale haul. And now back to the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed a little insight into my first week. I'm super excited. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you guys. Um, I had a viewer, I had one of you guys come in to Layman's and I got to meet with them. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that there. Um, so yes, I thank you for all your support. Couldn't do this without you, of course. And um, just be sure to follow Fatbird Finds on Instagram, here on YouTube and on whatnot now you can look for the links in the description below and i'll be seeing you soon maybe i'll do a vlog for a week too <laughs> all right everybody until next time stay tuned see what fat bird finds next bye everybody